Hey, welcome to another video. Today what we're gonna be talking about is an overview of a Google Ads account account structure. And um, I'm gonna walk you through kind of like an overview like this, but I'm also gonna jump into a live Google Ads account and show you what your account structure should look like and kind of walk you through at a high level how things work, how you should structure things, and the different aspects of a campaign and how it all works together. So let's jump into it. The first thing you're gonna see up at the top here is this is the account level of your Google Ads account. Now with this particular level of a Google Ads account, you're not really going to be setting up much here. Essentially uh, at this level, you're gonna have your billing information, your time zone, business information, all that kind of stuff. And all of this is going to be set up when you actually set your Google Ads account up from the beginning. So if you already have a Google Ads account set up, this is all probably already taken care of. So you don't really need to worry about this. Um, nothing really is going to impact the campaign at this level. Obviously, if your card gets declined or something like that, that will impact the campaign. But at the account level, you're not really doing much in terms of uh, impacting the campaign. Below the account level, that's when you start creating your individual campaigns. Now, a lot of my clients, they're just gonna be running one campaign. They're a local service business. Um, there are certain instances where you can run multiple campaigns. This is kind of depending on if you want to test out bidding on broad match keywords, test bidding brand keywords, things like that, or you have an entirely different uh, type of service that you wanna run a separate campaign for, that could make sense to run a separate campaign. But at the campaign level of an account, you're gonna be setting up things like your daily budget, where you want the ad to show, so your location targeting, all that kind of stuff, uh, the language, the bidding strategy. And at this level, this is really where you're just kind of setting the overarching just settings for your campaign. Um, and this does obviously impact things, you know, talking about your bidding strategy, all that. I will get into that in just a second, walking you through an account. But at the cam uh, campaign level, really it's just all about the settings. Then beyond the campaign level, we have the ad group level. Now the ad group level is really kind of just like the structural element of a Google Ads campaign. I look at ad groups almost like little funnels or little buckets that your keywords go into. You kind of see this structure right here where every single ad group is going to have keywords, ads, and um, the ads are gonna be linking to a landing page. So. Uh, you can see the structure on this kind of flow chart right here. It all kind of looks like these little funnels that have the keywords, the ads, and they all lead to a landing page. Now, in some cases, this can all just be one landing page, um, or it could be individual landing pages based on the ad group. But the whole idea with an ad group is you want these keywords to all be a specific keyword theme. Um, the, the biggest thing when it comes to Google ads is relevance and you want each one of these ad groups to be incredibly relevant to what somebody's searching. So the keywords in this ad group are going to be around a specific theme. The ad is going to speak to that theme and then the landing page is going to talk about uh, whatever that keyword theme is. And then it's gonna be the same thing in ad group two, one keyword theme ads speaking to that keyword theme and then you're gonna have your landing page again talking about that keyword theme so this is kind of the account structure at a high level it's probably going to make the most sense for me to actually jump into a campaign and then show you what this looks like and kind of show you how to navigate around this account structure all right so now we are in a live google ads account i'm going to walk you through the account structure from the account level to the campaign level to the ad group level and show you what it actually looks like uh, in an actual account and not just on a, a little flow chart. So over here on the left hand side, you have this uh, option right here. When you select this, this is actually the account level to your account. So if you needed to change any like account level settings, you can select this, go to settings, hit your account settings right here. You can also hit your account settings up in the top here, but this is the account level of the account. Um, again, it's not really gonna impact a ton when it comes to your uh, particular campaign, but right below that, you have this campaign right here. So this is the campaign level of your uh, account. This is a campaign. So you select this, you have the campaign level selected. The biggest thing here is if you hit this and then go into settings, you have all of the settings here that you can change on the account. So like we talked about before, um, you can select the networks that you want your ad to show on. Um, so in this case, you know, I always opt out of display network, but it's on a search network and you can include search partners here if you would like. Um, so you can choose your networks, you can choose your locations, 
You can choose your daily budget. You can choose your bid strategy. This is where you're going to set all of that up is just by selecting your campaign, hitting settings, and this is where all that information is stored. So that's the campaign level of the particular uh, campaign. And then beneath that, you're going to see all these other things right here. These are all ad groups and I'll just kind of open this up for a better view here. So this is all the same information that's over here. These are all of the ad groups that are within this account. So like I mentioned before, they're all kind of like little uh, individual funnels. So you're going to see here, appliance removal, junk removal, furniture removal, all these different kind of keyword themes. And then also these kind of geographic themes, Colorado Springs. The reason why uh, this is important is because within each one of these ad groups, like I mentioned, there's going to be keyword themes, and then there's going to be specific ads that are specific to those keyword themes. So um, if we go in here, hit our ad groups, I'm just going to select this one right here so you can see the keywords. So within that ad group, you have different keywords. And again, they are all very, very relevant to what that theme was. This one in particular, it's a geographic ad group for junk removal, Colorado Springs. So all of these keywords are strictly related to junk removal in Colorado Springs. So the other two aspects of an ad group are obviously the ad and the landing page. Now in this particular example, I don't want to just be giving this client's ads and landing page away because those are two very, very important aspects to having a successful Google ads account. But uh, when it comes to just this explanation, if you select your ad group level here and then you hit ads, that's where your ads are going to go. Now, keep in mind that you want to make sure your ads include these keywords, include these themes in them so that they actually are relevant to what somebody's searching. And then when somebody clicks on that ad, you want to send them to a landing page that is relevant to what they were searching as well. So in this particular ad group, the ads specifically talk about junk removal in Colorado Springs. And then when they click on the ad, they get sent to a landing page that talks about junk removal in Colorado Springs. And you want to rinse and repeat for every single ad, uh, every single ad group in this account. So that is the kind of account structure at a high level. Um, if you have any questions, obviously drop them in the comments below. Um, if there's anything else you want to see on the channel, just let me know. If you enjoyed this video, found it helpful, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. And um, if you are a business owner looking to run a campaign for your business, you can hit the link in the description below to apply for a consultation. Uh, it'll send a little form over to me. I'll review it and let you know if I can help you out. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks.